body said, if you don't listen to me, you're going to be very unwell. Mm -hmm. I turned 40 and I was into my 40s and my body was just like going, we can't do this anymore. So in 2018, that was when I resigned from my job because I was so unwell and my lease had run out on my house and it, the owners wanted to occupy the home and I was at just basically waiting around for the, my next medical appointment, my next okay. blood test. Yep. And, and a specialist, at that point I had five specialists and the main specialist said to me, who diagnosed me with an autoimmune disease, said it can take six to 12 months to get on the right treatment. And then if that's the case, you won't be able to go back to work until we get you on the right treatment. So I was, I had nowhere to live because mm -hmm. the rentals out where I live were quite high. I was now on 80% of my income because mm -hmm. I was on income support payments and through my insurance and I couldn't get another rental. So my sister made a flippant mark. She said, oh, well, if that was the case, she said, I'd just get a car and caravan and travel around Australia. And my intellect said, no, I can't do that. But living in a caravan and going and visiting you sounds like a good idea. And so that's what I did. I got a four wheel drive. I got a caravan. This is all using my savings. And then, yeah, just lived paycheck to paycheck and moved up and just moved up the east coast of Australia. But once you're on the what they call the traveler's road, so you're meeting a lot of families that are traveling around Australia with their kids in their caravan. A lot of them, including my relatives, were saying, are you going to travel around Australia? Because this is a thing, right? It's a grey nomad thing in Australia to mm. travel around Australia. And, and my initial reaction was, no, no, I'm just going north on a holiday while I'm undergoing medical treatment. And because intellectually, I couldn't fathom all the medical stuff that I had to do, also having a 14 year old daughter who was homeschooled by that point, like that was just all too hard. I was just gonna visit my best friend in, in Rockhampton and visit my sister in Townsville and, and just keep going up the coast. I've got family up far North Queensland. And if I got all the way to the tip of Queensland, that would be a good goal. I just really wanted to get to the very tip of Queensland, just to say on my bucket list that I've been all the way up to what they call Pajinka. Mm -hmm. and and then our friends in Rockhampton said oh we've been up there but if you get to the tip you might as well hop on the ferry ride and go over to the Torres Strait Islanders and visit there they've got a pub over there it's the highest pub in Australia you've got to go and visit that if you got that far so every time I went someone gave me a new destination to get to mm -hmm. and yeah I in 2018 I traveled around Australia well, there you go. Just following one decision, one tip at a time. Yeah. I never set off with the intention. Oh, it was like a pipe dream. But anytime anyone asked me, are you traveling around Australia? I'd go, nah, that's me, Billy. <laughs> yep. And, 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 and I had a plan to come back once they, once my specialist said, oh, once you start this particular drug, which is a form of chemotherapy, She's like, you can't travel around Australia. And so because I was uh, putting everything on a Facebook page just to keep everyone up to date as to where I was happening, because people, obviously, I had a lot of naysayers saying, you can't put that on your daughter. Fancy traveling around Australia when you're so sick and your daughter's going to have to take care of you and it's just crazy. Mm -hmm. So I had all the naysayers then. And then, there, yeah, and then. So I had a Facebook page to let everyone know. I had to let everyone know when I was leaving a destination and when I was arriving because everyone was so worried about me. Mm, and of course, okay. my specialist followed along. And uh -huh. So when I flew back to Brisbane for one of my specialist appointments and she looked at all my blood work and all my treatment, she said, you know what? I think you're going to have to start this particular chemotherapy drug. And you know how I said you couldn't travel? She said, I've been following you. And I think if you do this, this and this, you can continue traveling. 